Attention! The British will certainly be looking to try and flip the omelet. They raced them two weeks ago to a third place in Poznan. They're on their home course. We'll be looking for an early, try for an early lead off the British squad. Yeah, the British really led out well in that World Cup. In the first quarter, they got their bows about half a canvas in front of the Germans in the first 250, 300 metres. It's not quite the same crew. We've got Oliver Cook has come in in the bow seats, the Oxford University Ra and Tom Attention! George in the two seat. Go! But the British will go out hard. There's no other way to race eights. Little correction on steering from Martin Zade. He was drifting just a little bit towards the British. He had to put the rudder on. There you see Johanna Socek, the Budovain Schweiner Osman in the stern. Sets a beautiful rhythm. Lance Treadle, the Cambridge University Osman, likewise. Such a fantastic strikeman there. Sean. Yes, there's just nothing like the start of an eight race. There's so much power coming off the cruise. Well, the Germans are blowing the British away early doors. I wasn't expecting that at all. Normally, they're very, very quick from 250 through to 650, but they have gone out with a purpose, Sean. Well, let's just say the Germans have been watching racing all week. They've seen the upsets. People change their race plans when it's a match race. It's not six-lane racing. They want to get the early lead. So the Germans had that early lead. The British should now start to come back with a purpose, led by Lance Treadle. There you can see James Rudkin, the Newcastle University oarsman behind him. What a Henley they've had. The big man, Adam Neal, in the sixth seat from the Ander Club. All six foot six of him. Massive power that he could develop there in the stern of the British boat. But the Germans are just edging out, edging out, Sean. They just have so many medals in that boat. I'm surprised it hasn't sunk. 17 world championship olympic medals countless european championships and they're using every bit of that weight of those medals to get the early lead they've got a coach new coach this year uwe bender normally ralph holtmeyer has worked with the german a he's taking the year out there we ride with the british a lot of men from leander club you can see the jerseys just Lance Treadle from Cambridge and James Rudkin, the 22-year-old from Newcastle University. And up in the bows, Ollie Cook getting his first ride in the British Eight this season. He will be racing in Lucerne in a week's time. The Oxford University, former University of London, rower. There's a shot of his back there, Sean. Yes, it's certainly a kaleidoscope of colour for the British Eight with all the different members of different clubs and universities racing in their first national team, really. For that you know the senior level and we saw a fantastic exposition of uh, rowing from the dutch women's four in the race before and we've now been treated to a great exposition from the german eight a really flat drive blades going so quick at the front end and they're right on the legs there's there's hardly anything in the arms and upper body i mean you wouldn't know they were doing anything on the front end there would you not really but again in eight race it's all about power being clean of course you don't want to kill the king's fishes as you come down the river but just clean. So the German eight have uh, changed their gearing. The Olympic eight that finished second to the British rode on an 83 centimetre gearing. But uh, when they saw the tailwind at the Europeans, they brought their gearing in 82 and a half, and that's what it is now. A little tighter gearing, and in these tailwind conditions, that's giving them a little more solidity, Sean, and just helping those blades just hold up in the water a little more. Well, I have to say, I did do a little spy work, and I was in measuring their boat in oars earlier this week in the boat shed at 6.30 and the Germans have a very heavy gearing which really helps them get off the start. If it was a headwind and a tight race, it would make a difference in the end. But look at this, what so a commanding performance. I bet you the Germans are really not as strong as the British crew on the uh, 2,000 metre ergometer and you know their, their probably average ergometer score is lower than the British but probably their gearing is, is harder and they can do that presumably because of their technical cohesion and precision absolutely i mean you're getting they're much more efficient throughout the stroke so there's the back of johannes wiesenfeld the westfalen oars men behind him felix vinberger then max planner two men from the four in the olympics made a brilliant transition to the eight at four torben johansson and then jacob schneider 
he's made a fantastic transition coming in from the German under 23A. And then the four men who took silver in the Olympics, Malta Yashak, Richard Smith, the uh, seven-man Olympic champion in London 2012, Hannes Ocek, the stroke man we've seen him, and Martin Zauer. You can see the diminutive Zauer in the Cox's seat, steering straight down the booms. He's not going to have to worry about uh, coming over. Sometimes he likes to send puddles down to the other crew, but he's not going to get the chance to do that this time. And the Brits were a bit behind the eight ball, having totally cleared the shelves for the eights from last year winning the Olympic gold medal. They had to restock it with all new people. Oh, you know, this is a fantastic opportunity for the Brits. They're doing, they're racing everywhere this year. They came to the first World Cup. They came to the Europeans, the second World Cup. They're going to race in Lucerne. These young men, you know, from 22 years of age up to 28 years of age, but they're, they're young, they're new, and they really want to put their imprint on the great British system and this is part of the experience you know it's not going to be nice losing to the Germans at Henley but this is what will make them strong this is what will make them tough and this is what will get them hopefully to a medal in Tokyo absolutely I think it's right on the British team they're playing the long game the real prize is Tokyo four years away defending their medal you have to get young people in the racing situation get the butterflies in their stomach so that's the mark on the back of Johannes Wiesenfeld, the mark of Deutschland actor. You can follow them on social media, Facebook and Twitter. They've got an account all to themselves. It is the boat in German rowing. Nobody else that. really wants to know about any other boat, Sean. Look at that blade work. It's fantastic. As a look out as they come towards the finish, the last five strokes, another masterclass in rowing from the German crew in the Grand Challenge Cup. They drift across the finish line. And the British, well, they had an overlap at the finish. Germany take that contest. Confirmation, Passau and Tovis Tvia from Germany beat Leander and Newcastle University by just over a length. Attention! So, a shot of uh, the Germans at the start there, Sean. Look at how clean the hands are around the finish. 44 strokes a minute. Yeah, nice. Picking it up so light and bright. Nice release. A lot of work in the front end. Patience then. Early release. British with a competitive there throughout the race, really. But certainly, it was the middle of the race where the Germans did the damage. Just like, just like they did in Poznan. We're just hearing that the winning time, Sean, was 6.05, which is not a record in this event. So conditions not as fast as they were when the record was set. But again, I don't think that would really matter to the German crew. It's winning that counts. I never really cared about the time. It just has to be quicker than the crew behind you. Absolutely. Well, Sean, I've enjoyed uh, working with you this afternoon. I'm now going to hand the microphone to Sarah Cook of Australia, who will accompany you and the rest of us through the afternoon's program. It's been a great pleasure working with you, Sean. Thank you, Martin. Enjoy the rest of the afternoon.